Hi, this is a short video about the CMU 200 or CRTU, Roden Schwartz CRTU analyzers. So, if you've been playing around with your analyzer uh, installing cards, you'll need to perform um, some routines on it. And this short video will show you these. So, we power up the analyzer. And when the Roden Schwartz screen comes up, we press the, men the menu select button a few times, which brings us into the version manager. Now, this is actually quite, um, you can actually screw up your, uh, road, your analyzer if you don't do the right things here. But the important thing to remember is that it runs, uh, the analyzer runs on as a, a DOS system. And so, typical of the older DOS, MS-DOS systems, the disk does get fragmented. So it does pay to do a, uh, a defrag, uh, if you've been using it a lot. First of all, you should perform a scan disk. This does the standard Microsoft scan disk. Uh, and then uh, a defrag. Now, this system will go quite fast because I'm actually using a SSD drive on this and some of you will say, oh, why are you defragmenting an SSD drive? Well, I'm doing it because most analyzers won't have an SSD drive fitted um, and will need defragging at some point. Now, being a CRTU, uh, these were the protocol analyzer version and they had two partitions on the hard drive. The um, one petition was for the DOS, the other position, petition was for Windows 2000 where the analyzer software was ran. Um, so this is in the, we're talking about the DOS petition only. Now if you have changed cards on your analyzer, you will need to do a firmware update after uh, a board change. This one here. And it's as simple as just pressing that button and the analyzer will straight away run into its automated firmware update routines. This analyzer, this particular analyzer is loaded, so this firmware update is going to take it quite a few, quite a while. It'll probably take it a good 20 minutes to complete its uh, firmware update. But I've been having issues with the, um, uh, when the analyzer's got hot, the um, RF ports, uh, are not uh, uh, calibrated correctly so I'm going to I'm hoping a firmware update and it probably will correct that because it takes temperature into into account anyway um, that's just a quick video showing the um, uh, some basic use of the version manager how to get into it um, how to do um, a defrag and a scan disk as well as um, the firmware update after uh, you've changed the board or you wish to um, get the analyzer to recalibrate itself for temperature coefficient changes. That's all. Thank you.